Welcome to a short discussion with Mario Greco, CEO of Zurich Insurance Group, about the 2017 full year results. Mario, you've said these are a strong set of results. Can you talk a little bit about the highlights? Results are very good altogether, very solid. 2017 was a difficult year on many respects. In such a difficult year, we improved on underwriting results, we improved uh, on new business margins in life, we grew the business in property and casualty and in life. Farmers have significantly improved their motor combined ratio, costs are coming down, and also we developed a number of new initiatives through the year with acquisitions, divestitures, new partnerships, all together in a year where we did a lot, we contrasted whatever the market uh, was uh, throwing at us uh, with uh, excellent resilience uh, and with excellent determination. Now, Zurich is also proposing a dividend increase, the first one in seven years. It's quite a testament to the confidence in, in earnings growth going forward. Can you talk a little bit about what underpins that confidence? Yes, surely. Uh, we uh, decided on the dividends looking forward and looking at, as we explain often to shareholders, at the sustainability of the dividends in the next years. So in proposing to the AGM and to the board uh, to bring to the AGM this uh, new dividend proposal, we're confident that uh, this level of dividend can be maintained. What moves us is the earnings growth uh, 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 dynamics that uh, we see in the books. Uh, the underwriting improvements, the further uh, cost benefits, the developments in life, the new acquisition in Australia will kick in in 2018 and then will develop itself in the next years and will give us further contribution. And we trust that farmers will further uh, accelerate in their growth. All this uh, make uh, myself, George Quinn, the colleagues in the executive committee confident, optimistic that the earnings growth uh, will be significant. You mentioned uh, some of the activity in the market, some of the acquisitions we brought on, the capability, some of the distribution agreements. Can you talk a little bit about how those positions are at going forward? We started uh, in Asia with uh, the acquisition of Covermore and we concluded the year with another acquisition in Asia uh, of the ANZ uh, insurance business. And so that was an important acquisition which moved us uh, to number one position. We also did a lot of good acquisitions on innovative uh, platform and sectors, starting from the fact that we created a new company, Zurich Mobile Solutions, and we hired back a former colleague, Theo Bautz, uh, who accepted to join us back and lead this. Um, we purchased Brightbox in Hong Kong. We continued also with important partnerships uh, with a number of uh, travel companies, uh, with a number of uh, important retailers. We did that in Europe, we did that in Latin America. It's an impressive set of activities and I'm very grateful to the colleagues uh, of M&A, to the colleagues of uh, Innovation and Business Development and to the regional colleagues for all this work done. Well done and impressive. Thank you, Maria. Thank you.